Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I'm going back to a video that Sarasota Tim did a few days ago, where he talks about paying it forward thanks to his coffee donations. And it's been something that we as a community have wondered if Tim does actually pay it forward. And I may potentially have receipts that will show in a little bit that somebody sent to me that he is not paying it forward and that a lot of the information that he gives about buying all of these things for large families and people and doing all these, you know, McDonald's, Apple Pays and getting people coffee and just making everybody's day may not actually be truthful because we know that Tim loves to film everything but the one thing we have never seen is these actual acts of generosity or even taking the time to say, hey, do you mind just being on video for a second? I guess he wants to say that he's being humble by not showing it. But then if you're doing all these good acts, Tim, why do you talk about it? People who usually perform good acts, they don't talk about it because that means you're trying to get something because you did the act. So when you're just doing it out of the kindness of your heart, there's no reason to make a song and dance about it. But anyway, let me get my disclaimers out real quick, because obviously we have to make sure that people know this is for entertainment purposes only. The videos that I'll be using from Tim are transformed. And just to let you know, as a disclaimer, these are just my opinions. I am a registered nurse here in the United States, trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. But as you know, I am not treating, diagnosing, or anything of that nature. Okay, so a few days ago, let me get over to his, uh, make him big, make me small. He stopped at a gas station for his classic Highlander grog and was talking quite a lot about paying it forward. And so let's just listen to him. It's not too long. I sped him up to 1.5 this time just for make it as quick as I possibly could. I skipped a lot of it. Um, he did. We'll show you how many times he mentioned coffee uh, in a little bit in this video because I always feel like he's subliminally trying to put that message into his subscribers, whoever's watching his content into their mind, like, buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee. Anyway, not that I don't have a buy me a coffee, and I certainly do appreciate it, but I'm very clear that I'm using it towards my graduate studies, which are very expensive. And so he, and, and I always appreciate it, but he is, you know, we know what Tim is. Come on, Judge Mathis, I forgot to bring you out yesterday. So let me make sure that you're here today. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry begging. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Oh, and he's been dry begging hotel rooms, golf games, clothing, shoes, you name it. He's dry begged for it. Even with Miss Tammy there with her large inheritance, probably at least 450000 on the house, I understand, uh, from her deceased husband that she was having an adulterous affair with Tim behind his back. So they're just a really nice group of people here. So you know he's a good Christian man. Okay, Tim, take it away with your lies, please, allegedly. For $15. I mean, come on. It's the best coffee I ever drank in my life. But what I did do, uh, a young man and his two daughters, they were, the girls looked like they were about 12, 13. Um, they had all kind of snacks and drinks and uh, little morning treats. I guess they're, I don't know, travelers or local or whatever, but they came in here and they piled the stuff on the counter there. And <clears throat> then the one young girl said, oh, wait, uh, I would, if I was analyzing this conversation, like I said, I don't treat a diagnose. I would make a note of that throat clear because that could be indicative that he's getting ready to tell a story and not one that's particularly truthful. So I'm just, you know, like I said, I don't treat or diagnose. I try to keep away from that. Uh, it can only be speculation, but just just watch how he delivers this story. He goes into always a lot of detail, as you can tell, which is interesting when you're supposedly commit um, performing a good act. Yeah, that mom wants a, she ran back to the cooler and she got one of these um, 
drinks in a can. I don't know if it was a power drink or what it was. Tea, could have been anything. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. And so I knew that I couldn't pay for them until she came back because I wanted that to be rung up. The guy was there. He was a young man with his two daughters. Not so young. I mean, like I said, they were uh, 10 to 13, the two girls, uh, beautiful girls. And um, they put that on there and he was getting ready to pay. And I had, I was using my debit card this time instead of my Capital One MasterCard. That means I got to put the PIN number in after it rings it up, which is not a big deal. It still, it still dings when I read. I mentioned about how using the Apple Pay and just flashing it is not how that works necessarily, that you have to maybe do a couple of more steps. So he's now getting more intricate about the steps he needs to go through to pay these items. I reached my phone over and, um, and paid. And he was like, he wasn't rude or anything, not, nothing like that. He just said, you, well, you don't have to do that. You don't, you don't have to do that. I'm like, it's okay. And, you know, I didn't want the phone to time out. What happens is when you set up Apple Pay and you press the button and you get ready to do the tap and pay, if you don't do it within a certain period of time, it, you know, it goes away. And because she had to run to the cooler, you know, to get the, um, the drink from the mom, I was worried about it timing out. I'm like, I don't want to blow this. This guy's got his card in his hand. And uh, it didn't time out. It's, it, it lasts a minute. Intricate details that often when people are trying to elaborate on a story that could indicate that the story could potentially not be true. So just listen to all the details that he includes in the story. This is a man who complains about spending $11 on a parking place. This is a gentleman who would not pay for short-term parking to go inside and help his adulterous girlfriend get her luggage and greet her at the airport, you know, inside the terminal. He was circling around so he wouldn't pay for parking. He complained about the parking at a hotel. So this is an individual who is generally not very generous with their money. But when it comes to this supposedly paying it forward, which we've never seen a receipt for, literally a receipt, it doesn't even matter. We don't see any evidence. It's just Tim's very elaborate stories. Keep going, Tim, with this elaborate story, sir herself and i reached it over there and he goes wow man thank you very much the girls they were thanking me they knew what it was about they thought it was a kind gesture made my day they don't know the difference if dad's paying it or you paying it tim probably <laughs> all they know is they don't pay for it so i i don't know why the kids would be getting so excited unless the parents said no you can't have that item and then you turned around and paid for it that would be a different story. And I don't, you know, that's that that's when you pay it forward. Hey, folks, made my day. I hope you go out and do the same. Some of you have already contributed uh, to my buy me a coffee fund. I just want mm. you to know. You oh. Know, oh, oh, really? Judge Mathis out again? Okay, let's bring him out. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Oh yeah, you and that buy me a coffee, Tim. I know, I love my, I love the donations to my buy me a coffee, but uh, that's got to be something that people choose to do. I put almost the link up here now. Almost is a, a little bit of a joke to way that Tim just constantly talks about this because they don't take as much of a amount of money away from the creator as YouTube. If somebody makes a donation through YouTube, sends a super thanks, a super chat, YouTube gets 30% of that money. So if they sent you $10, you would see seven plus minus taxes. So it goes down. Whereas with buy me a coffee, they take a fraction. So if they sent you, say, for example, $25, you get $24 in some sense. So it obviously behooves him to keep promoting the buy me a coffee. And like I said, I kind of have this up here because he started it. I never had started it before. I promise you, I'm very glad I do. And it has helped enormously uh, with getting very expensive books for grad school and my studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and looking at the types of traits and behaviors somebody like Tim has as he uses his cult of personality and charisma to manipulate his audience on YouTube. Keep going, Tim. Go to a chiropractor. I did buy Laticade. I did buy this and that. I buy my gas. And I also buy 
for other people. I love doing it. It's becoming habitual, actually. I don't know what I'm going. A habitual lie at this point, in my opinion, because we've never actually seen a receipt from your credit cards to say that and just showing to your subs like, look, really am paying it forward. No, nope, it's just you and some elaborate stories at this point, Tim, and that's all anybody is getting. Going on a monthly or a weekly basis, but I don't care. And it's, it's just coming back. And you're the one actually doing it. So thank you for those that do contribute to the uh, Amazon. Yeah, contribute to Tim's pockets, in my opinion. And not to and, and the people that he chooses to pay it forward, how does he know these people are in need? He's not donating it to a charitable organization. You don't see him getting food packets together and taking it to the unhoused in the cities that he's visiting. He, these people could be re, uh, better off than he is. He, this is why this just seems like an elaborate risk to me to get very good, lonely, vulnerable, and potentially elderly people to part with their money. Good Christian people. Because as we spoke about recently on a video, people who are good don't think that they're getting conned because they couldn't imagine conning people themselves. But Tim has spent a lifetime probably, you know, trying to use his charm and his words to gain things because he went door to door for years selling oil change coupon books doing the least amount of work he could in a week and he's openly admitted that this is a man who owes back child support this is a person who also is not uh on his own social security but based on a, a, a previous spouse's that's why he calls it free money he also has taken almost $60,000 in EIDL loans, and he's spoken about that, bought depreciating assets, and probably took that money under false pretenses. This is, this, this is Tim. That's who Tim is. Keep going, Tim. Amazon account and to the Buy Me A Coffee account, um, those that have the generosity that have the means to do it. This is not asking anybody to do it. This is just to let you know, folks. Right, okay, to... sorry. I got to bring Judge Mathis out again. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, we need this one out Confidence too. Tricks to noun British, a person who tricks other people in order to get their money. Con artist. Yeah, one of those. All right, keep going, Tim. A very, very nice couple of young ladies, the father and the mother. They're enjoying their snacks down the road right now. They're still talking about it. Nothing better than free food, right? They crushed it. Hey, I'm Did they? Did they crush it? Are you serious? You think they really crushed it? I don't know about that, Tim. I don't know about that. Anyway, let's get over and see how many times in this particular video did our friend Tim mention the word coffee. Let's see. Let me share this tab instead. Make it big. There we go. Uh, you can search. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I have to keep it small. You can look on YouTube very easily to see um, transcripts, take a look at all of these different things. So I wanted to see how many times did Tim say the word coffee? <laughs> look at all this. Look at the amount of times. It was 21 times he mentioned coffee, you know, and then he told obviously the coffee story. And then he's going to talk about, you know, this other part of you know, the best cup of coffee he drank in his life and so forth. And we're not even going to worry about listening to the rest of this video. I'm not interested in that. What I am interested in is showing you uh, something that happened a while back ago. Uh, Tim went to a, uh, let me add that to a stage. Tim went to a gas station in Cedar City. I think it was around Father's Day, actually. I think it was the Father's Day one. And he was getting ready to get his rental car and he had spoken again about how generous he was with purchasing coffees. Now, I'm not revealing the name of this person who sent this to me. If you go through my comment sections, you will find this comment on, under one of my videos. Obviously, I have many that are in regard to Tim, um, but it's there. But I just wanted to show the highlights of this particular video that he did a while back ago. And uh, he got also the rental car that day. And he said a number of stories. So what Tim doesn't know is that there are people that watch YouTube that are very aware of who Sarasota Tim are, is. 
and who make comments and watch my videos too. So thank you so much and thank you for following up with this. So this person says, yeah, funny how he's never filming his scripted acts of generosity. Again, you know, those two little girls probably would have been happy to have said, yay, thank you, Mr. Tim, for buying us the treats. You know, if their father had allowed it or the dad, you know, maybe they don't want their kids on video, so I can understand that. But even the father, so this is, <clears throat> pardon me, <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Um, I had a long live stream the other day. <laughs> it says, yeah, <clears throat> let me clear again. I apologize for that. Yeah, funny how he's never filming his scripted acts of generosity. I was at the gas station when Tim arrived in a large white truck about five stalls past his driver's side. I bought a coffee on my way to my RV park about 100 miles north. Coffee was horrible. This is Highland Grog coffee that he's referring to. The worst I've ever had in my life. Bought that crap Tim likes out of curiosity. No wonder they're discontinuing it. Station is on tribal land and the natives know what good coffee. What's good coffee? All right, let me get to the next part. Okay, we'll get to the next part here. All right, so good coffee. Perhaps they came in after I left, but I didn't see any large family making a purchase inside. Left there and went to Enterprise in Cedar at 9 a.m. When they opened, as I had a question, I asked if they had a lot for customers driving a long distance to park their personal vehicles. She said customers simply park in the front of the office. Tim came in at about 9.30 a.m. I was making phone calls while in the lot and saw Tim transfer his gear to his black Nissan rental. He parked his truck. Like, all right, I'm good to, lady explained to me earlier, but lied on a later video that they offer pickup service. Also, he would be charged extra at the RV park for a second vehicle. He's so full of <laughs> poo. <laughs> I'll put that polite. So that kind of, you know, just to sort of say that uh, this person, I don't think, had any intention of running into Tim. They just happened to be traveling. Tim is there in that area. They are aware of where Tim is. I don't uh, think that this person had any reason to put in the comments why, uh, false things. This isn't one of my weird emails that I'm receiving. This was just somebody leaving a comment in my comment section. But the only receipts that we have, Tim, is that you aren't buying anything and paying it forward for any type of family because it's gotten really much grandiose, the grandiosity on it. And we talked a little bit about that uh, yesterday when we talked about narcissistic personality traits and so forth and selfishness, that he is getting more exaggerated with these stories. It used to just be one person he was paying forward to in a in the McDonald's drive through way. Then suddenly when he was at Riverside Casino, he did paid it forward three times in a McDonald's. And now he's buying just large amounts of items or or or, or, or a numerous number of things for, for families now. So I just kind of find it interesting that these stories are getting <laughs> more exaggerated, more detailed as the time goes on because he needs to do, you know, what do you need to do, Tim? Flim flam now in a trick or deception, especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim. A piece of nonsense, twaddle, bosh. Yes, he is trying to manipulate, I believe, in my opinion, his followers even more to get those coffee monies sent to him. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish it off here. If you did like my content, hit the likes because that helps get my video up the algorithm and I so appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. That, again, is engagement that YouTube loves. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.